Hi YouTubers, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the Opus Charger D Charger, this device. It's a great little device I'm using um, to discharge every of my uh, 18650 cells. I'm going to explain it in full detail, so I hope you enjoy it. So this is uh, the start screen, when no batteries are in the Opus. It uh, says that every single um, holder is in charge mode and has null, so nothing in it, uh, nothing to charge. When we put in one battery, we see that it changes to 4 volts and it starts blinking at 500 milliamps. So now it stopped blinking and it's charging. It's charging at a rate of uh, 500 milliamps. We can uh, walk through the display, see the voltage 4.01. It has put in 2 milliamp hours of uh, energy. It's been charging for 0 minutes at a pace of around 500 milliamps. If we put another one inside, it will do the same, it's 3.99 volts, but now I want to change the current, so I push the current button and I can select between 200, 300, 500, 700 and 1000 milliamps. So if you want to just charge cells uh, which are used in let's say um, a flashlight or for vaping and you're not in a rush you can charge them at 300 or you can charge them at um, yeah sorry 500 these two rates are good uh, if you have batteries which will charge a lot um, and go empty a lot. Yeah. This, this charger will charge the batteries um, till it reaches 4.20 uh, volts so that's also the highest voltage you can uh, put into a 18650 battery uh, to still be safe yeah. but if you are using um, these batteries for vaping or for flashlights I would recommend you uh, charge them till uh, 4 volts or 4.1 volts yeah? and that's something which is rather difficult with this charger and maybe other brands uh, are more suitable so let's assume that um, the batteries you have uh, they are fully charged but you want to uh, discharge them you can put them in it will say okay it's uh, at charge mode but when you click on mode I was too slow when you when it's blinking and you click on mode you can scroll through the different settings so charge discharge discharge refresh charge test quick test and again charge so now for discharge I have um, also the value 500 milliamps, so it will discharge at a rate of uh, half an amp. If we put in a second one, this will let's say also be 420, we want to discharge it, but now at a rate of 700, 1000, 200, 300, 500. So these are the same values you can choose. So now um, as the non-written agreement says 1 amp, this is how you should discharge um, the batteries to test the capacity. Again, when you click now on display, you can see the voltage. So this will be dropping because it's discharging. The milliamp hours which it has de deducted from the battery, so it has taken out uh, the energy. 
Uh, also note that the discharge milliamp hours will not be the same as the charging milli milliamp hours. Most of the time the charging milliamp hours will be higher than the discharge. But it's the discharge uh, milliamp hours which are important. Once um, these batteries are completely discharged uh, it will blink in this uh, window so now where we have uh, sorry, 500 uh, it will start blinking and it will say in this case it's already measured uh, in this case it's a very good one 2661 this was also a very good one 2619 so this value will be here um, I write it down on my batteries to sort them um, so when I make my battery pack I can uh, easily grab the cells I want and the next mode is discharge refresh this is um, good for uh, old batteries uh, which you want to run some cycles so they are um, awakened again yeah so this is only for old cells you want to uh, get some life into it this is not for cells you have uh, found with uh, half a volt and you want to uh, regenerate them to three or uh, more volts another mode is the charge test so this is probably the most used mode uh, on the BTC3100 Opus because um, this is a complete cycle so that means when you put in the battery it states the voltage and now it's charging it's charging at the rate of f half an amp you can of course change that to one amp when the voltage reaches 4.20 uh, it stops charging and automatically automatically it starts decharging so without touching it it will charge to 4.2 so the maximum for these cells then it will uh, discharge from 4.2 till 3.0 that's the lowest we want to go with these cells once it has reached that uh, it will show the amount of milliamp hours it has taken out of the battery cell so that's the number you want to know uh, the capacity of your cell and it will automatically charge it again to 4.2 so this is very good if you want, don't want to spend a lot of time at your chargers if you're not at home or uh, if you want to do other things then you can leave the charger doing this complete uh, cycle so uh, it will take time especially if you have uh, batteries with uh, or cells which have large capacity it can take hours literally but uh, it's an advantage if you go to work in the morning you put them in when you come back the complete cycle has been done and then you have a last option so I put in the cell again you can go to quick test you leave it in there you wait about 10 seconds and it gives you a number so it gives 60 so what is this value uh, 60 is actually the resistance within uh, the cell um, and it suggests that this battery uh, is a good uh, quality cell that the life cycle um, is not uh, long overdue and that it will be um, probably a good cell in the battery pack yeah but uh, be careful when you put it in again it could give another reading 
so let's say let's wait a couple of seconds 62 so this is very narrow but I have uh, already had cells which had uh, bad terminals or uh, terminals which were not very good uh, cleaned um, and when they do not touch very good uh, to the terminals from the opus it will give uh, very different readings so be careful with that uh, use it with caution also know that there um, there's not a difference or not not a big difference between let's say 60 and 80 um, but when you have a cell which uh, shows 200 then I would probably not use it uh, for putting it into the power wall so for me uh, 150 is uh, the max but other people uh, say that they go till the 250 so um, that's up to you to conclude um, I think the pros are that there are different modes different programs uh, on the opus and within these programs you can still uh, choose to use uh, multiple settings by changing the current this unit also has temperature control so that means when a cell is overheating um, or the internal fan will start spinning or when it's really really overheating then it will shut down so it's a safe uh, device the, another advantage is that it uh, charges till 4.2 volts yeah um, this is good for us yeah because we are we want to charge them to the maximum uh, voltage and to the lowest voltage but as I already said for uh, people who are, who are using this for vaping and for flashlights uh, I would recommend to buy a charger which goes only to 4.1 or 4.0 volts another advantage is that uh, it can be used for uh, cells with uh, multiple chemistry so if you want to you to uh, charge uh, double A batteries triple A batteries um, other lithium ion cells uh, which are bigger or smaller uh, you can put them in this device not a problem on the negative side uh, as already said the fan is uh, the weakest link in this device if you want to use it as um, a bulk charging device so if you are using uh, five or ten of these units uh, in one place then also note that you will have to have uh, five or ten sockets to put in uh, the D DC chargers in my previous video I talked to you about um, bulk charging and discharging with these devices yeah um, so what to use is really up to you but uh, I started out with uh, this for bulk charging but I changed to the opus yeah um, why did I do that because I think that with this systems system I, I uh, thought I had a lot of heaters but it seems that um, these little charges are uh, responsible for heating up the cells quite a lot more than when doing it with the opus and I'm also sure that when they will be in a big battery pack yeah that the the rate of charging will also be much lower than the one amp which is uh, used in general and also by these little devices that doesn't mean that I do not use them anymore um, this one I really do not use anymore but these little ones I use to pre-charge my batteries so when I have cleaned them taken them out, out of the the e-bike packs the um, laptop uh, battery packs I clean them and then I put them in uh, my uh, bulk charger uh, with these yeah I charge them up till let's say 4 4.05 volts then I take them out I let them stay uh, for a while and when they are uh, cool enough I put them in this charger and I use uh, the mode 
uh, when you put it in a cell, it's uh, I can flick through everything. No. Why doesn't it work? The mode, yeah. Then I um, take the charge test. It will raise the voltage to 4.2, then discharge to 3.0, show me the value of the capacity of the cell, and then charge again to 4.2. So uh, that's how I'm doing it. Uh, so I have still this, the two systems and I still use them. So when you're interested, you can see my other video about uh, this kind of uh, charging, charging and discharging station. Um, and you can also look up my video about uh, the internal testing the re internal resistance of the battery cells. Um, because I do not do it with the Opus, but with a little other device, which I think has more um, stable results. I hope you learned something about this uh, charger. If you did so, please like my uh, page and maybe subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.